What we've accomplished in the last few months would have taken us a year to do on our own. They've done so much for us, you know, on the group level when it comes to collective and, you know, investors and, and brands and, and products. The biggest thing Techstars gave Stats Helix was the framework to answer our biggest questions. Our amazing mentors have helped us find our voice. And also helped us become stronger and better, more knowledgeable founders. In three, two, one. Yay! It's a difficult program but it's done and taught in a way where there's a support. It's given us an amazing community of founders, advisors, mentors that have given us tons of advice, but also become hopefully lifelong friends. Techstars has given me family and community at a time when we need it the most. And Techstars really is a partner who's invested in us. They believe in us and they do a lot to ensure our growth. That's a wrap, folks. If anyone wants to touch base about anything, hit me up on Slack. Mwah. Let's have a great day. Hello, and welcome to the 2020 Techstars LA Demo Day. I'm Anna Barber, and I'm the managing director of the program. And I really wish I were welcoming you from the stage of the historic El Rey Theater on Wilshire Boulevard, but that just wasn't in the cards this year. Instead, we're really fortunate to have a great media partner in .LA, and first, I'd like to thank the .LA production team for helping us put together this great event, which I hope is really fun um, and for being terrific to work with. In spite of the fact that we haven't been together this year, we've run a virtual program and the Techstars LA community has really come together in a big way to help these startups and also just to help us all get through this difficult period. The LA tech community is also coming together to use technology to solve our most urgent problems and to talk a little bit more about what's happening in LA Tech and also welcome you, I'd like to introduce our mayor, Eric Garcetti. Hello, I'm Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti, and I'm thrilled to join you today to offer my congratulations to the newest graduates of Techstars LA Accelerator Program. Los Angeles is an amazing city full of dreamers and doers just like you. It's a place where new ideas take root, where cultures collide, and where people from across the world come to glimpse the future. For the last seven years, the Techstars LA team, led by the amazing Anna Barber, has shown us the very best of that Angelino spirit, from helping advance representation through our Pledge LA initiative, to partnering with Dot LA to bring today's demo program to life, to bring over 100 new companies to the market. Techstars has helped power LA's tech renaissance and in this moment of so many unprecedented challenges, tech stars, along with startups and tech leaders across Los Angeles, are leading the way, matching their innovation and ingenuity with care and compassion. In the earliest days of the pandemic, so many in this community stepped up to produce crucial PPE, while others are leading the charge towards new therapeutics and innovative approaches to testing. Many in this community are pioneering new technologies for contactless payment, telehealth, and they're saving lives and protecting livelihoods. Because at the heart of our innovation economy is the never-ending push to make life safer and healthier and better for people throughout our city and across the world. So to our graduates, we are ready to partner with you, to dream with you, and to work together to solve our most profound challenges. Keep leading, keep innovating, and keep showing us a way to a more resilient, more equitable, and more prosperous city. Congratulations on this important milestone, and let's get to work. Thanks, Mayor Garcetti, for those comments, and thanks for your continued partnership with the LA Tech ecosystem and just your general leadership this year. We're all in this together to make LA better for all Angelinas. For those of you who don't know a lot about Techstars, Techstars is the global platform for investment and innovation. We've run more than 200 accelerator programs around the world, serving more than 5,000 founders and generating more than 25 billion in market cap, which according to Crunchbase, makes us the largest investor by volume. Here in Los Angeles, we've got three programs active and running, the Techstars Starburst Space Accelerator, the Techstars Music Accelerator, and this program, Techstars LA, devoted to investing in the city of LA. We also have more than 100 alumni companies that have been through some Techstars programs somewhere in the world and are building their companies here in Los Angeles. 
When we started Techstars LA four years ago, we knew that diversity, equity, and inclusion had to be a pillar of our program. 60% of our portfolio companies are led by female founders, and 20% have a Black or Latinx CEO. We believe that our founding entrepreneurs must look like the communities that they come from in Los Angeles. Before we hear from the class of 2020, let's get a little update on what some of the classes of 2017, 18, and 19 have been doing this year to support our local community. In addition to raising more than a collective $100 million in venture capital, among the 30 alums of Techstars LA, there are companies that are using their technology and have made really interesting pivots in order to serve the community better this year. Finley, for example, moved quickly to help its small education clients bring their businesses online and find new customers. Slingshot Aerospace partnered with LA211 to help people locate food banks near them. And Best Food Trucks has helped their small business food truck clients stay alive and find new customers near them by going where the customers were, quarantining at home. We invest in entrepreneurs because we believe that entrepreneurs create a better future. And we need a better future more than ever. I'm very excited to introduce you to the class of 2020 of Techstars LA. Enjoy the pitches and I'll be back after the show. Welcome. My name is Kelsey Davis and I'm the founder and CEO of Collective. Prior to starting Collective, I was a freelance creator producing visual content for global consumer brands like Coke, Land Rover, and Puma, all while studying full-time at Syracuse University. But I was restricted to sourcing these gigs through my own personal network and not through the traditional channels provided to me by my school like career fairs or even LinkedIn. But I was scaling so many brand opportunities that I decided to start scaling these off to a collective of my creative peers. And what I soon began to realize is that often the most creative people are the ones who can't generally find success in the traditional professional or education systems created decades or even centuries ago. But it's these same entrepreneurial creatives who have been the future of work for brands who are looking to source young, untapped talent. So instead of dropping out of school to chase my freelance dreams full time, I decided to study this problem and to build a technology platform as the solution for college students to connect with the brands that actually want to hire them. Collective is the premier talent marketplace connecting college creators with brands targeting Gen Z consumers. For our creators, who are the best videographers, designers, animators, and editors, we offer a complete on-ramping to the careers that they were meant to have, allowing them to create an interactive portfolio, publish new content, and to engage with brands. While well, for our brands, we're offering them access to the freshest undiscovered talent to reach upon leaving campus, allowing them to post content challenges and job requests directly onto our platform. We know that brands are obsessed with being first, but they're modeled structurally in a way that doesn't easily give them first movers advantage. And it's no secret that Generation Z and our $156 billion in annual consumer spending is going to drive this economy of the future, which is great because Collective sits at the intersection between how our generation sees the brands that we want to buy from and the brands we want to work for. In September, we launched our private beta program for our first 30 vetted members. And each week we're rolling in new members from our growing waitlist of over 2000 of the nation's top college creators. We make money by sourcing qualified data sets of talent, content, and research for these brands. Since May, we've generated over $60,000 of sales revenue, and now our new technology will create a predictable revenue stream from the dozens of brands that we currently have in our waitlist pipeline. We have a big vision for Collective to upskill millions of college students for the jobs they actually want, while giving them a platform to work on the stuff they're qualified to do now. And once the scalable system is in place, Brands will find the talent they need while deepening their relationship with their Gen Z customers at the same time. The barometer for validating quality, authenticity, effectiveness, and creativity is no longer simply top down, but bottom up and in the influential hands of Generation Z. We're stronger together as a collective. So join us on our journey to democratize access for the next generation of creators. Thank you. I'm Shirley Lee. I'm a nurse practitioner and co-founder of Pravita. So, 
Imagine the worst news you could find out about a loved one. She has cancer. Now, imagine the next worst thing. She would still be alive if. I lost my friend Becky to cancer two years ago. And as we know, cancer is always a race against time. You run the test, assess options, then make the best decision. For Becky, the system failed her. Process breakdowns led to delays in testing and diagnosis. By the time the results made their way back to her doctor, her cancer had already progressed and it was too late. Becky's story is not unique. According to the American Cancer Society, of the 600,000 Americans who die from cancer each year, a staggering quarter of these deaths could have been prevented if patients had more help navigating the healthcare system to get their data to doctors earlier. As the director of a cancer center, I need a technology that continually identifies which patients have missing data, then guides my staff to help navigate those patients to address barriers from keeping their data profile complete and up to date. Fortunately, I had the perfect technology partner in Victor Lee, our CEO. Victor brings 20 years of data science and management consulting experience, launching SaaS solutions across a range of industries. We're joined by three seasoned technologists who worked together with Victor for six years, building enterprise scale platforms for blue chip companies. We launched Provida and solved the data problem with data focused care navigation. Let me give you an example. Provida mines patient records and identifies that Dave is missing clinical data needed to monitor his prostate cancer progression. Provida then guides Anne to work with Dave getting his missing blood work done. Pervita folds in this new data point and presents a now full data profile to his doctor who determines the cancer has progressed and immediately forms a new treatment plan. Pervita's solution is working. We are detecting cancer progression earlier. Our unique product is already resonating with paying customers representing 96 providers and 1,300 patients across the country. Along with improved health outcomes, Provida enables practices to convert a cost center into a profit center, resulting in revenue for both our customers and Provida. Our data navigation solution is a key first step in our big vision for patients and their data to be more fully seen and heard by a more responsive healthcare system. Come talk to us to learn more about Provida's roadmap to transform healthcare and the patient journey. Hi, I'm Rachel King, the founder of Pod People. We're the on-demand workforce for audio production, powering the industry with a vast network of hand-picked professionals across the globe. In a digital age where time is the new currency, people want to take advantage of every second. As a result, it's the rise of the human voice and evolution of podcasts that is now taking center stage. Audio is not a flash in the pan. It's the best of both worlds, emotive and compelling, convenient and affordable to make. So why is it booming now? Just like in TV and music, we're seeing a shift to on-demand. The industry is maturing at a pace no one expected, accelerated by the pandemic, and the scale of it will be massive. Our customer is every company that develops an audio strategy. So all of the smart ones, even Johnson & Johnson is getting into the podcast game, and they spent 20 billion on marketing last year. But how does all of this content get made? As with any booming industry, there are growing pains. Hiring a rotating stable of contract workers is a huge time suck, and there's a massive talent drought in audio production right now. We started out as a traditional production company and experienced the problem firsthand. So we built a huge network of trusted, vetted audio pros and then turned our Rolodex into our new product. Overnight, we went from competing with other production companies to being the service all of them need. Instead of mining for gold, we're selling everyone shovels. And the next step is to continue that at scale. Pod People has consolidated a fragmented part of the industry, and our marketplace will make the process scalable and repeatable. We've spent four years building our relationships, and we're entrenched in the industry, both with creators and with clients. With our new technology, 85% of our current staffing process will be automated and will offer a best-in-class hiring solution to our clients. Thanks to our revenue, we've already started building the product and plan to launch it in Q1. 
We're on track to do 1.5 million in revenue this year, a 4X increase from last year. With our funding, we'll make key hires, launch the product, focus on outbound marketing, and triple our revenue next year. Our profit margin is 50% on production, but 90% on staffing. Currently, our business revenue mostly comes from production, but over the next year, we're going to flip that. We have best-in-class clients, and we work with them on a long-term basis. Our team is stacked with well-networked, talented people who know this industry inside out. And our long-term vision is that we are the engine powering all things audio production across the entire industry. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Eric Coley and I'm the founder and CEO of Ayana Therapy. According to the National Association of Mental Health, 56% of all healthcare providers report having no form of cultural competency training and half believe that patients do not hear to treatment for cultural reasons. As a result, people of color use mental health resources at about a third the rate of white Americans. Such was the case a couple of years ago for Celeste, a dear friend of mine who repeatedly tried to look for a suitable therapist to no avail. Having also faced some personal and debilitating issues of depression, I thought of a solution. An online platform that offers access to mental health services by matching marginalized communities with counselors based on race, gender, ethnicity, and religion with an emphasis on intersectionality. You see, finding safe space in the realm of therapy is crucial. And if therapy means compassion, then compassion must mean being heard, being felt, and being understood. And that is why we wanted to make sure that your traits and experiences are being reflected. Hence the name Ayana, which means a mirror in Bengali. We have over 200 counselors on the platform, and Ayana being offered in 12 languages. We've turned the meaning of intersectionality into a space that offers safety that awaits you. Our user-friendly service offers monthly subscriptions on an online platform with the following steps. You take the questionnaire, you get matched, and start communicating immediately after by text or video call. To date, we've had around 10 contracts from universities and corporations. Our product is currently used in private beta by Snapchat and Slack. We've also garnered a substantial amount of press from the New York Times, Forbes, and we're also named top 10 in the world by Fast Company in innovation and wellness. We've developed also a solid team around Ayana. Aaron Little, our head of operations, has over a decade of experience in the startup world in operations and product. Ahmad Jubran, our chief technology officer, has over 20 years of experience in the healthcare space between leading product and engineering. And Dr. Norman Kim, our clinical director, has over 15 years in the clinical space. Being approached by giant corporations and insurance companies like Walmart and United Healthcare makes our future promising. We are well positioned to gather unique data from our users that will help us not only understand them better, but also address social critical ills. If you want to change the face of mental health in America, please join us. see our um, ecosystem develop and I feel I can contribute to that. Because of the amazing community that they've built, it's very clear that it's a group of companies that are working together to be able to solve whatever issues are and that's something that I want to be a part of. It's such a community, you know, it's, it's such a place that fosters this intuitive sense of belonging. Also because I met Anna a couple years ago and was instantly taken with her vision. I already knew about Techstars from uh, from New York City but really wanted to get involved here and, and, and make a difference. 
they all show up and come together in a way where they want to lift people up and not break people down. And I want to be part of that. I want to be part of that solution. These founders give me hope. They are the future of what entrepreneurship is. And besides, right now, you can mentor from home wearing sweatpants. Hi, I'm Dana Kawar. I'm a four-time world championship winning esports team owner with over 20 years of experience in the gaming industry, and I'm the founder and CEO of StatsHelix. Every day, the world's 2.6 billion gamers log in to play their favorite titles and in the process generate mountains of data. This data is a gold mine of opportunity, and almost nothing is done with it. This is why we built StatsHelix. Our software harnesses this data to create powerful new viewing experiences for online audiences and valuable user insights for game publishers and tournament organizers. Through a combination of clickable on-screen elements and behind-the-scenes production tools, we form a system of engagement that captivates audiences so that we can drive insights from their behavior and give our clients more control over their users' experiences. In September of 2018, we powered the world's first interactive esports experience. For the first time in history, viewers at home could get player positioning, performance, and advanced statistics on screen, on demand, and in real time without ever leaving the stream. Our data visualization product has since become industry standard, used by every major, and scaled to 1.1 million unique users at the most recent event. Now, this same data visualization product is being used to teach new players about Dota 2's 119 heroes and their abilities through interactive tooltips on broadcasts. Our technology tracks how these viewers engage with it and gives the on-screen talent insights on the most clicked on hero abilities so that they can better tailor their broadcast to the audience's knowledge level. DreamHack, one of the world's largest esports tournament organizers, has relied on Stats Helix to put on a better show for their millions of viewers since the beginning of this year. Our post-match analysis tool allows their on-screen personalities to break down important plays, and our highlight wizard helps them create exciting storylines within seconds. Game companies know that their core competency is creating compelling games, not building data products. This is why more of their games than ever are shipping with ways for third parties to access and use this data. At Stats Helix, we provide easy-to-use SaaS products that address key client pain points while freeing up their already scarce developer resources. And our SDK will enable these features for over a million games, not just the handful of AAA titles with APIs. As we continue to solve new problems for publishers, we drive deeper insights across a broader data set. It's this system of intelligence that empowers our clients to build better games, keep players longer, and better monetize them. And what's best, it means more enjoyment for players. At Stats Helix, we're passionate about using data to make gaming better. And if you'd like to squat up with us, we'd love to talk. I'm Jack and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Polygon. We offer teleassessments and support for learning differences. When I was younger, I was always very good at some things. Things like maths, chess, and went on to study physics at university. But I was always very bad at other things, particularly reading and spelling, and this made school needlessly turbulent at times for me. It was only until after university that I got properly assessed and diagnosed as being dyslexic. Now, in hindsight, this seems pretty obvious. But for me at the time, it was a light bulb moment and it changed my life going forward. This issue goes far beyond myself, with one in five people having a learning difference, such as dyslexia, autism, or ADHD. The assessment market size alone in the US is $14 billion per year. That's 70 million people, each struggling with their own learning journey. Currently, there are only two bad options for getting assessed. There's in-school testing, which is free, but due to a lack of resources, the assessments they're giving are completely inadequate. On the other hand, there are independent psychologists, but they cost up to $10,000 for an assessment, have wait lists of up to a year, and huge parts of the country simply don't have access. Polygon provides a third option, 
teleassessments for learning differences provided by psychologists, enabled by technology. We use the exact same testing batteries and diagnostic procedures that the very best independent psychologists use themselves. And our reports are equally valid for school accommodations. Except our initial go-to-market price is $995. You can book an appointment immediately and you can get access anywhere. We're able to do all of this by hiring PhD psychologists in-house, providing them with the technology that enables them to play to the top of their license. Scheduling, document intake, report templating, our platform handles all of this and so much more. But assessments are just the beginning and soon we're going to offer a range of follow-up support services. We've taken our first revenue during Techstars and have established initial partnerships with schools, universities and other organisations. We're now raising a seed round to expand into this demand. Ultimately though, our vision is to change the outcomes and the perceptions of people with learning differences. That's why we think shapes are a great way of thinking about these conditions. Just like no one sees a square as being inferior to a circle, whilst recognising they each have different characteristics. Luckily, I'm not alone on this mission. And if you'll excuse the pun, our team is made up of all shapes and sizes. Together, we're Polygon. I'm Dr. Stephanie Canali, the co-founder of Lactation Lab, which is the only U.S. company testing breast milk. Nutrition during the first 1,000 days of life is critical for infant development. It's a time of vulnerability and presents an opportunity to positively impact lifelong health. Breast milk is recommended as a sole source of nutrition for the first six months of age. Due to the health benefits and healthcare savings, breastfeeding is at a 100-year high. Yet despite these facts, the individual nutritional composition of a mother's milk remains a black box. Over half of women report stopping breastfeeding early because they think their milk isn't good enough. The inability to breastfeed can lead to shame, anxiety, and depression. And this is something that I know all too well. Lactation Lab was born from my 15 years of clinical experience as a family doctor at UCLA, having treated thousands of moms and babies, and my personal experience as a mother who struggled with breastfeeding. My daughter was diagnosed with failure to thrive. This meant I was failing to feed her adequately, yet no tools existed to help me solve the problem. I don't want any other mother to feel the way that I did. I'm on a mission to give women the services and information that not only I wish I had, but that I need it. How it works is the mom collects a sample in the comfort of her own home, freezes it and sends it into our lab at UCLA. We analyze it and she receives the personalized dietary and lifestyle recommendations she needs to optimize her milk and replenish her stores. Breastfeeding is also a huge business. In the last two years alone, sales of breast pumps have increased over 600%. Our revenue has grown exponentially since we started Techstars. We've formed strong partnerships, have ecstatic customers, and patents pending. But we have an even bigger vision of how we're going to support moms and babies. We just launched our telehealth services and our companion app named Emily to support women through their journey from preconception counseling, through pregnancy, lactation, and returning to work. We are building the first most comprehensive database of maternal nutrition, lifestyle, and milk analyses, positioning ourselves for key plays in diagnostics and therapeutics. Our team is poised for growth. We've created a patient-centered holistic approach to maternal and child health, focusing on breastfeeding as our core connection. If our vision of empowering women with the data and information they need to help be the best selves and help their children thrive excites you, we'd love to talk. Wow, that was amazing. We'll take a brief break to hear from some of my friends and colleagues at Pledge LA about an exciting new initiative. The best ideas have never been bound by zip codes, but access to capital to scale them is not equal. Of all the VC investment dollars in LA, only 6% goes to Black founders. 
Latinx founders only get 7%. Yet more than 56% of Angelinos hail from those two communities. If there were ever a moment to change this, it's now. LA deserves to benefit 100% from our city's creativity and innovation. That's why Pledge LA created the fund for South LA founders. We're raising $500,000 from the community to give 20 Black and Latinx companies three months of tailored training, mentorship, and $25,000 in equity-free funding. The fund for South LA founders is not an investment fund. Our returns will be the success of the companies selected and the visibility they will help provide for other entrepreneurs in the heart of our city. If just 5,000 members of the LA community give $100 each, we'll reach our goal. $100 is just 20 lattes on Postmates. I did it, so can you. Thanks to the generous support from the Annenberg Foundation and the Acevedo Foundation, every dollar donated goes directly into the hands of founders. Join us as a partner in this effort. Donate to support the fund today. Text SLA Fund to 707-070 or visit pledgela.org slash South LA Fund. I'm Sid, CEO of Psych Insights. We're the emotional intelligence platform for remote teams. We help every manager become that one leader everyone wants to work for. This year, Twitter, Facebook, Google, and a ton of other companies announced plans to go fully remote indefinitely. This decade's best places to work will look very different from the last one. They're gonna be remote teams. But what makes a remote team a great place to work? We talked to more than 500 managers and learned that they're really struggling with building connection, trust, and strong relationships in the new remote workplace. It takes a lot of emotional intelligence or EQ to lead a remote team well, and managers need help with this. That's why we built Kona. And we did it in December 2019 before remote work was even cool. Kona helps remote managers build emotional intelligence so they can drive long-term performance and retention. Let me give you a real life example. Shane manages a fully remote team of 10 people. He uses Kona, which analyzes the way he and his team communicates and guides him in context on how he can become a better leader. Using Kona, Shane can see here in the context of conversations that Rachel has a direct communication style. He, here he can see analytics that some folks are fe feeling frustrated or disengaged. And here he can see that overall his team is excited but confused and that he needs to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with them for clarity. There are actually 120 such chains using Kona. Since we joined Techstars, we've built a strong core of 15 companies in our beta group. Companies like Typeform, Aircall, TeamSnap, and more are using it. For these users, Kona is a daily habit. The real Shane, the CTO of TeamSnap said, I desperately need Kona to understand how my team is feeling. The fact that Kona is essential shows in our engagement. Our beta users use Kona four out of five days per week. Teams that use Kona are happier, more connected, and show higher performance. As a result, we're seeing really strong growth in our pipeline. We already have 50 enterprise clients who wanna try it. The biggest names in remote look to us for expertise on how they can build EQ on their remote teams. To help them with this, in August, we actually just published our EQ and remote managers report which got over 100,000 social views and is still generating daily leads for us. We're platform agnostic. So whatever tool you're using to communicate, Kona will be there to help you improve your EQ and become that leader everyone wants to work for. We're on a mission to make remote teams more emotionally intelligent. If you think this is as important as we do, we'd love to talk. Data is powerful, but only if you can use it. Over 40 million Americans are renters. That means with every rental application submitted, every maintenance request made, every move in and move out that occurs, a data element is created. And buried within all that data are insights that an operator can use to determine the health of their property, the happiness of their residents, and the overall performance of their portfolio. My name is Elizabeth Brayman, and with my co-founder, Justin Hughes, 
We are Joy Hub. We've worked together for the past six years and met at our prior tech stars back startup, Realty Mogul, where Justin was the co-founder and CTO, and I was the first real estate executive hire. In these unprecedented times, having data-driven insights are critical for operators to survive and thrive. But for operators to view their portfolios holistically, they first need connectivity. Enter Joy Hub. We are a centralized platform for apartment owners and managers to connect to their existing systems for workflow automation and data aggregation. Let's meet up with one of our first clients, Aaron. Aaron uses the Yardi property management system to manage his 3000 unit portfolio. And he uses the BirdEye reputation management system for online reviews, the number one way that most prospects in the market find an available unit. JoyHub connects to both systems. So now Aaron can see the true impact that was previously only anecdotal, like how online reviews are impacted by delayed maintenance response time. And that's just one example. By cross-pollinating data across multiple systems, JoyHub offers health scores for residents, properties, portfolios, and markets. So operators can see where they're exceeding expectation and where they need help. Operators now have actionable insights to drive revenue, identify trends, and set the stage for predictive analytics, which tell them not only what is, but what will be. At JoyHub, we recently closed out on an over-allocated pre-seed round from some of the top names in real estate. Right now, we're working with four operators representing 9,000 units to roll out in January, when we'll also be opening our seed round. If you're interested in learning more, we invite you to reach out and we'll keep you posted on our journey. We are JoyHub. We provide tactical insights and automation for peak apartment performance. Thank you. My name is Brittany Chavez and I'm a proud Central American Latina from Los Angeles. I'm also the founder of Shop Latinx, the leading fashion and lifestyle marketplace for millennial and Gen Z Latinas. By 2030, Latinx consumers will represent 30% of the US population, and we currently have over $1.7 trillion in annual spending power. And we're now headed into the conscious shopping era, where we, young Latinx consumers, are more intentional with our money. We want to shop from brands that speak to our strong cultural identity, whether it's Afro-Caribbean, Mexican, or South American. Yet, if you weren't aware of this trend, it would be easy to conclude that Amazon is just eating the world. But what this conclusion misses is the 10% market share decrease in the last two years, the astonishing continued growth of the overall e-commerce sector, and the many beloved new shopping destinations that have emerged as unicorns. And all of these brands have a deep connection with their customers through delivering on the three pillars of content, community, and commerce. And we at Shop Latinx have established ourselves as a leading voice for the audience that we're speaking to. And we are growing fast. We've doubled our social following from 30,000 to over 65,000 since starting Techstars with a 113% increase in engagement month over month. We have prominent Latinx leaders supporting us, such as Zoe Saldana, AOC, Jessica Alba, and more. And we've achieved these results by providing our consumers with modern products designed and curated just for her, editorial content, and an inclusive community where she, for once, feels both celebrated and accurately represented. We offer over 130 products across 10 suppliers with the goal of adding 1,000 SKUs in the next eight months. The products in our marketplace are ethical, sustainable, and most of all, beautiful. And it's not just Latinas that want to shop with us. There is a large and growing consumer base of values-aligned shoppers of all races who want to use their spending power to support communities and causes they care about. Our in-house marketplace platform enables a dropship model directly from our brands, which means we hold zero inventory or manage logistics. This allows us to focus on growth and retention rather than operations. And all of this became possible when Miles Montes joined as my co-founder. With my insight into our consumer and a strong vision for building a legacy brand, combined with Miles's technical and operations expertise, we are the right team to take on this massive opportunity. 
and we're excited to announce that it's working. We have a pipeline of over 100 brands eager to sell in our marketplace. In our MVP launch, we generated $40,000 in sales and we have an email list of 8,000 customers eager to shop when we relaunch this month. SLX is already a leader in our space, having partnered with brands like Instagram, Red Bull, and Shopify, and demand to partner with us as high across leading brands in the US. If you also believe in the market potential of 60 million US Latinx consumers and counting, we would love to talk to you. Thank you so much. Wow, that was awesome. Great job, everyone, congrats. We just got a few people to thank before we wrap up the show. First of all, a huge thank you to our mentors. Techstars just doesn't work without mentors. And we had so many amazing people that showed up and gave a ton of their time, which was just more needed than ever this year in our virtual world. So thank you so, so much. We could not have done it without you. We have amazing collection of global partners that are not just big companies giving products and services, but actual people that dig in with us and roll up their sleeves and help harness big company resources to help the founders succeed. Thanks to all our global partners. I run this program with Alex Caraval and we weathered this virtual new world together. And Alex, you just did an amazing job. We couldn't have done this without your leadership. So thanks for putting on a great program. We were just blessed with an embarrassment of riches this year with five entrepreneurs and residents who really gave a totally unreasonable amount of time to the, the companies and the program. And um, we're just so grateful for everything you've done. Trav, Colin, Kate, Marissa, and Chris, thank you so much for helping us this year get this done. Our three associates showed up every day with creativity, with humor. They solved problems in ways that I did not think were possible. Uh, Christy, Jamila, and Jama, thank you so much for everything you've done this year for us and for all the startups. Finally, a big thank you to our families. We might have been home doing Techstars on Zoom with you, but doing Techstars and running a startup is an incredible roller coaster. It takes a lot of energy and it's a team effort. And we really appreciate you letting us do this and supporting us while we all went off and did this crazy thing together. One of the core values of Techstars is Give First. When a community comes together around the philosophy of Give First and the idea of just contributing to the community without necessarily knowing what you might get out of it personally, that's when magic can happen. Thank you all for being part of our Techstars LA community and for giving first. A special thank you to our media partner, Dot LA, that helped us put this together. It's been really fun doing this with you. To the audience, thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you in person very soon. Take care.